I've been using Pop OS for a long time now, and I recently upgraded to the beta release for Pop OS 24.04. Uh, and uh, here are some takeaways as well as some uh, comparisons between the beta release and then and uh, the LTS 22.04. Uh, that most people on Pop! OS are, are still on. So for starters, uh, the main part of the show is that uh, Pop! OS 24.04 introduced their cosmic desktop environment. Uh, it's whereas um, in 22.04, it was essentially an extension of um, GNOME. So it came with a lot of advantages and, and drawbacks. The, the advantages are that uh, in 22.04, you can use a lot of the same capabilities from GNOME, and GNOME being a widely used and uh, uh, well-developed well uh, desktop environment, you know, you had a lot of, uh, you had a very stable experience using GNOME. Uh, so Cosmic is a brand new desktop environment uh, that they uh, brought out this uh, this release. Uh, so let's go into a couple of things that they brought in with this release. Um, so uh, you can, if you if you've used Pop OS, you can probably see a couple of the differences. Uh, first off is uh, the panels that they introduced. Uh, something that seems to be like in KDE, except in here I can't seem to remove them. Uh, completely. So uh, I put mine at the top here. Now what is cool though is in these panels or in the dock you can choose what you want to have there whereas in 22.04 it was just um, uh, the apps you know you had favorited and what you had open. So here you get to choose so if you go to desktop uh, there's panel and there's dock for each of them you get to choose. So for panel, I can go to configure panel applets and I can choose what I want to show on the panel, right? Whereas, um, same for the dock, if I go to the dock, I can choose what I want to show on the dock as well. So I made mine, so it's not redundant, I made mine to have my apps and my, you know, opened applications of the dock. And I have a couple of applets here on the, panel as well, you know, work, workspaces and all applications and such. So with that, there are definitely um, a couple of uh, cool things that they added to, in terms of, you know, configuration to the dock and the panels. Again, I can't seem to remove this though. That is, that is something. Uh, you can remove the dock, but you can't seem to remove the panel completely. Another thing is being a new desktop environment, whereas 22.04 uh, was an extension of GNOME. One thing is, like with GNOME and KDE being, you know, flushed out desktop environments, uh, have very easy ways to configure them and tweak them. Whereas uh, it seems like there isn't a very clear way for that here yet. Uh, for example, in, in GNOME or in KDE, it's very easy to uh, add, you know, custom themes and such, but I can't really seem to find that option here. Um, there's an import option, but to be honest, I don't know how to use it. So if someone knows, please, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, but other than the themes, there are some interesting, you know, configurations you can do here and the layout and such of your uh, desktop environment. But beyond that, you know, with icons and such, it, I don't see a way to uh, add those easily like there is in KDE or in GNOME. Uh, last weird little quirk that I noticed is that games seem to launch in uh, a bit off screen. Uh, now there is quite an easy fix for that. The easy solution is once they uh, launch is, yeah, so you can see here, it's a little bit off screen. All I have to do though is uh, Alt Enter, or maybe once it's done uh, initially loading. Let me try that again. Okay, all right, now I'm in windowed mode and then if I Alt Enter again, Okay. Yeah, if I alt enter again, it takes me back, back into full screen and it's totally fine. Some smaller details, but uh, part of the reason why I actually upgraded was uh, 
two things. One is Pop OS 22.04 uh, does not officially support the uh, latest um, NVIDIA graphics driver 580. I think they're still at 570. That being said, you do not have to upgrade to 24.04 just to get the latest 580. Um, I actually have another video on how you can uh, update to the latest, even if you're on 22.04. But what I mean by officially support is if you uh, update your graphics driver by the means that uh, System76 uh, has outlined, um, you'll, you'll get the 570 uh, driver, not the 580. Whereas in 24.04, that is the default. Another thing is uh, if you upgrade to 24.04, you have access to the latest uh, KDE version. That was actually one of the uh, big reasons that I actually did to the beta release. Um, it's a very, it's a small reason, but I, I kind of just wanted to try it real bad. Um, and that was something I was going to say is if you up updated and uh, you're encountering issues with the cosmic environment, you know, Worst thing you can do, worst case scenario is just go to another, you know, more stable desktop environment like KDE or something like that. So it's not like you, you know, you're blocked out, uh, you know, you're stuck with Cosmic. One more note about uh, upgrading to 24.04 while we're at it. Um, now, it might be because I uh, was a bit stupid when I upgraded. I, I disabled the proprietary driver. Uh, so, and then I upgraded. So I had uh, that, you know, issue that probably a lot of Linux users or had driver issues had when they uh, put their, you know, login in and then uh, their uh, uh, desktop crashes. Uh, but to fix that, all I had to do is it's not, it's nothing really too difficult. It's just, uh, I just had to go into headless mode and install uh, uh, NVIDIA 580, uh, graphics driver 580 or any other version, just uh, reinstall that graphics driver, basically. And once I had that restarted, I was good to go. Um, that was just another quirk I just want to warn you about. I think if you just didn't do what I did where you uninstalled the proprietary driver, I think, and you just upgrade like that, I don't think you'll encounter uh, that issue. So overall, um, as you've probably, the hint that you've probably gotten uh, so far is, um, Staying in 22.04 will get you uh, definitely the more stable uh, experience. Um, now, when I say that, I don't mean like it has been a horrible experience, you know, uh, switching over to 24.04. Uh, um, it's just that I can uh, definitely like feel it when I'm using Cosmic, is that it's just a, a bit quirky uh, compared to uh, the GNOME extension of, of Cosmic and 22.04. Uh, the good news, though, is that I'm very happy with the <laughs> KDE, the latest version of KDE. Uh, really, really cool. Very happy with it. And I've been using it a lot, actually. Um, so that, that is great. But I mean, even though I've been like, I've been trying to use the Cosmic desktop uh, more just to play around with it and stuff. And like nothing, nothing is wrong with it. You know, it, I'm not saying like when I say, you know, less stable, it doesn't mean like I'm encountering issues every day. You know, it's just a couple of things like those, like here and there, like uh, the, the games launching off window and this panel that I can't seem to remove. But uh, yeah, other than that, it's it's it, it is also like quite stable. You know, I'm not encountering things every every day. But if you want that, you know, easy and well documented route, um, sticking with 22.04 is, is definitely your uh, best bet. Um, that being said, upgrading to 24.04 is very easy. I don't know how downgrading is like, uh, so I don't know if that is an easy process or not. Um, I will strongly recommend, uh, backing up your system if you do decide to upgrade. Um, if not, it never hurts to just wait to the official release, but I wouldn't be surprised even with the official release that, um, it's just going to be a little bit different. Uh, because this is a brand new desktop environment, whereas GNOME, you know, KDE and those, they've been around forever. Um, so I don't imagine, you know, it's going to be in insanely different. So that's just about it. Thanks for watching and uh, check out the uh, channel for any other content you might be interested in. And if you've uh, 
tried out 24.04 as well. Uh, feel free to share your experience as well.